Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, please excuse my absence again. It's been crazy. You guys know what's going on here with the repairs on the house. Although I have heard that tomorrow, which is Friday, should be the last day for the roof. And then we should be good to go, I guess. I don't know. I'm not complaining. Hopefully everybody had a very good holiday, um, whatever holiday you celebrated. I celebrated Christmas and I had a pretty good Christmas except I was very sick for Christmas. I have like a cold flu thing going on. I'm still a little sick. I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm talking, if you can hear it in my voice. But um, I wake up like every day with a sore throat. But I want to get on here and try to make at least some kind of video to give you guys because I'm sure you miss me. Anyways, I see a lot of people doing videos um, of what they got for Christmas, and I want to share with you guys some things that I got for Christmas. I did get some makeup for Christmas, but I'm not going to show you guys in this video today, only because my birthday is very close after Christmas. As a matter of fact, today is my birthday. But, um, it's really weird. This year's like the first ever birthday that I am absolutely just neutral about. I know I'm like a Grinch for that, but... I guess the older you get, like, you just don't get excited about birthdays anymore. I don't know. One more nail in the coffin. But like I said, it's my birthday and I'm gonna wait and see what I get for my birthday and then just do another, like, bir birthday Christmas haul to show the rest of the stuff that I got. But for today's Christmas uh, haul, I guess I can call it, I'm gonna show you guys the books that I got for Christmas. Now. Every Christmas, pretty much, I say to my husband, I want these books, and I usually get them. And I got, like, what did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six books for Christmas. And most of them are paranormal books, so I figured that I'd show you guys and just give you a little rundown of what I figured they're about so far. I haven't obviously read any of these yet, but I plan to do so. I'm going to ask you guys also... Let me know if there's a specific book in this pile that you want reviewed first, and then I'll start in on that. I don't know if you guys can see on the Alienware computer behind me, but on that computer, all those books, except for one, is a paranormal book, and I think, like, all of them except for maybe two I haven't read yet, so give me some guidance let me know which one you want reviewed. I'm going to review some ebooks coming up maybe next week that I have read on the paranormal so that should be coming up very soon but if you want to see any of these books first let me know so the first book I'm going to show you guys is not a paranormal book but it's a book I saw on Amazon and I just had to have it um, it's called Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind a bestsellers odyssey from Atlanta to Hollywood this is pretty much like the story of how Gone with the Wind went from being a book to a movie and to a legend, I guess you can say, because it is a very legendary movie. You guys probably know that's my favorite movie of all time. It's my favorite book, fiction book of all time. And I just love Gone with the Wind. So I saw this on Amazon. It had really good reviews. It's pretty much a brand new book. It came out not too long ago. Um, so I just needed to have it. It's a very nice hardcover book. Um, I do have a electronic device to read books on now. I'm going to show you guys that next week when I do my ebook review. It's not a Kindle, it's not a Nook. I got something for my anniversary which was like totally awesome. Alright, I'll tell you, it's an iPad too. So I can get ebooks now, but just some books I'm going to prefer to get in physical copies just so I can keep them forever and hoard them and keep them in my life. And this is, I think, one to have and keep around for a long time because it's a nice hardbound book with a nice cover. It has a picture of Margaret Mitchell in her first edition of Gone with the Wind there. And I can't wait to get into this and read it. If you guys want to hear about it, let me know. It's not a paranormal book, but maybe you're Gone with the Wind fans. The next book I got was a pretty anticipated book for me. It's Jim Harold's Campfire book. I don't know if you guys know of Jim Harold. If you don't, maybe you want to check him out on iTunes. He does podcast every week on the paranormal. He has, I believe, I can't say for certain, but I know he has three free ones, which are Jim Harold's Campfire, the Paranormal Podcast, and the Paranormal Report, which he does with Clayton Morris, who is a Fox News reporter, I believe. Um, and they're all geared towards the paranormal. The Campfire specifically is a ghost story book, weird story book, 
and his show, The Campfire, is actually where he gets people to call or he calls people and they get to tell their actual ghost stories, which is very entertaining. I love that show. It's absolutely free. He does have a subscriber section where you can subscribe to him, pay a monthly fee, and then you get premium content where you can get, I think it's four more shows per month, four or five, I'm not sure, because I don't subscribe yet. But it's definitely worth checking out this book. I read a couple stories in it. And definitely check out his podcast because they're great. Especially the Campfire and the Paranormal Podcast. I really enjoy them. The Paranormal Podcast, he always has like really awesome, iconic people in the paranormal field. Speaking of iconic people in the paranormal field, one guest that he always has on his show is Mr. Brad Steiger. And of course, he is my favorite paranormal author of all time. He is pretty much known as the father of paranormal literature. He has been in the field for over 50 years and he has written over 170 books on the paranormal. If you guys ever came to me and said, Emma, I want a book on such and such a paranormal subject, I would probably refer you to a Brad Steiger book because if you want a paranormal subject, he has written a book on it. I got two books by him this year for Christmas and I think last year for Christmas I got three. But the ones I got this year are ones that came out this year and um, it's Real Monsters. Gruesome Critters and Beasts from the Dark Side. So this is his cryptozoology, kind of like an encyclopedia book. He does have a ghost book out like this, a vampire book out like this. I have the ghost book, I don't have the vampire book yet. And he has a zombie book out like this. I'm absolutely dying to get the zombie book out like this because it's more geared towards the voodoo aspect of zombie-ism. I guess you can call it, so it's really exciting for me to read these books. I have the ghost book though. Um, so again, it's Real Monsters, Gruesome Critters, and Beasts from the Dark Side, again, it's the cryptozoology, and it kind of has demons in here too, it touches base on that, and skinwalkers, all that good stuff. The other book I got by Brad Steiger is the alien UFO kind of encyclopedia that he wrote, and it's the real alien space beings and creatures from other worlds. And again, this is just about aliens, UFOs, space beings, abduction cases, um, you know, my daddy's a space alien cases, so to speak. I skimmed through this and it's a pretty good book so far. Definitely, like I said, if you guys want a paranormal book, I would definitely recommend starting with him. Brad Steiger is awesome when it comes to writing about the paranormal. He's like my idol. I think if I could meet one famous person it would be him and it would be so awesome. So another book that I got was by Joel Martin and William J. Brines and it's called The Haunting of the Presidents, A Paranormal History of the U.S. Presidency. Um, it got pretty good reviews on Amazon. Some people didn't like it but I've yet to see a paranormal book on Amazon that got completely five-star reviews because some people are just like this is all bull crap. Well if you don't believe in the paranormal you're obviously not gonna like a book about it but this book is apparently about the stories of the U.S. presidents being haunted when they're in the White House, seeing other presidents that live there, presidents' wives, and all that good jazzy stuff about the haunting of the presidencies, and I think that's very interesting. I love history, and obviously I love haunting, so I think this is going to be a very interesting book. And the last book I got for Christmas, which is of a paranormal nature, is Journey to the Light by George Norrie. Um, probably most of you know George Norrie is the main host of Coast to Coast AM, which is the biggest um, overnight talk radio show. It is generally a conspiracy and paranormal radio show. It is an awesome radio show. I listen to it pretty much daily. You can subscribe to them and uh, you can actually stream it from your computer. I'm like dumb right now. Or your iTunes if you want to and it's overnight so it's kind of hard for people who are especially on the east coast to listen to it because it's on very late but George Nori I heard did a really excellent job in this book it tells of people's experiences with the afterlife such as near-death experiences with ghosts etc etc um, some people complain that this book was kind of just him compiling a bunch of stories of people who called into Coast to Coast AM and told them their stories if it is, I really don't mind that because that's kind of like what the campfire story book is about. 
and I kind of like books like that. And I do have the other book by George Norrie that I told you guys about, the Talking to the Dead one that he did with Rosemary Ellen Guiley that I still have to read. I started reading it and then all hell broke loose with the house and I just, I don't have time to read right now. So things are calming down and I'm going to start reading my books again. And thank you so much for watching and please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you want to post a video response and show me what you got for Christmas, I would love that. Let me know. And again, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday no matter what you celebrate it. Thanks again, guys. Bye.